During World War II, tank crews were naturally worried about dying a painful, fiery death inside their tank if they got hit by enemy fire. For that reason, it was common to see tank crews fasten whatever they could find onto the outside of the tank in hopes that it would provide additional protection. In original photos, it's very common to see sandbags, concrete, track links, logs, or other materials fastened to the outside of a tank. Some of these items had other uses too, like logs which could be used to gain additional traction in the mud. General Patton was not a fan of these makeshift armor additions. He felt that they added too much weight without actually providing much protection. This photo reportedly shows Patton after scolding a tank crew for putting sandbags on their tank. It seemed like additional armor plating was much better than these other solutions. For this reason, some tank crews welded additional armor plates to the outside of their tanks, a method that Patton approved of. These armor plates were often scavenged from damaged tanks and then welded onto working ones. 